Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and it's time for July favorites. Can you believe this year is going by so fast? All right, I've got one hair product, and that's what we're gonna start out with today. Lately, I've been using the S Factor hairspray. This is called the Vivacious hairspray. This smells really good. I go in and out with hairsprays. Sometimes I use them every day, sometimes I won't use them for months, but recently I've been sticking with this one. I've got two skincare things today. The first is a new face wash I've been using. This is the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. I love Philosophy, you know, I've used a lot of Philosophy products in the past, so I've been using this in the daytime for a little bit of light exfoliation every day. I like this because it's got acids in it as well as like exfoliating crystals, so I'm getting that double exfoliation with one step. Under my eyes recently, I've been using the Exuviance Depuffing Serum. This has a little metal applicator, three little balls down there. You click the product and it comes out, and you apply it in circular motions under and over. And I kind of like to pat it in with my fingers afterwards, but this really works at moisturizing, depuffing, and kind of cooling all at the same time, so it helps with that puffy dark circles that you get in the morning. The base that I've been using most of the time this month is the Tinta Moisturizer from Cargo. This is SPF 20. This I'm wearing right now, I wear shade Ivory. I just like to apply this with my fingers, with a brush, with a sponge, any way possible. It gives a nice effect. The color match on this is nice. It blends out very well, even if I'm not quite the shade that it is, depending on where I am in my week with uh, self-tanner. But I really like the blendability of this. No surprise, the blush I've been loving this month is Captivating from Tarte. This is one of their 12-hour Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. Um, this one is just a beautiful natural color. It's kind of corally, kind of neutral. I apply that with my Studio Gear number 14 blush brush. I love this brush. It's so tiny. I can get it right on the apple of my cheeks and pull outwards. I hate huge blush brushes because I kind of get blush everywhere. So this helps me control where I'm adding at and together they work great. The fragrance that I've been loving this month is Burberry from Men. This is something I've had for a very long time. This is my second bottle. I got my first bottle in high school. My mom bought it for me for Christmas one year, and I really liked it, and I loved um, how classy it smells. That's kind of a weird descriptor, but it's got a sweet smell, but it's not overly young or, you know what I mean? Those typical like young man scents kind of axy. Um, it smells a lot more grown up than some of my other fragrances. I got this second bottle for Christmas this year, and I have just kind of worn it off and on with my more dressier things, but lately I've been getting into wearing it every day. Alright, well I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it was rather short, but July's been pretty busy for me, so I've just been enjoying these couple of new things. Don't forget to check out Style Haul right here. Send me a question for my Q&A. Tweet me at JohnJohnTalks using the hashtag JohnJohnQ&A. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and leave me a comment below. See ya! This is a coral with a gold shimmer to it. It's got a very orangey tone. I am applying that. I'm like, oh my god. Sorry. Makeup kicking out. Okay.